Gentlemen, it's been a while since my last YouTube video. I just got back from Thailand. I want to talk to you about some of my recent experiences engaging with the ladyboys of Pattaya. I did not engage with any new ladyboys on this recent trip. All were known to me and all I've been with a number of times before over the past two years since I started making these independent trips when I became a MGTOW in November 2012. I've known for some time now that what the lady boys are really after, what they crave just as much, if not more so than money, is acceptance. Acceptance is something important to everyone. And if you're a Westerner, you're a status symbol because you're seen as rich by the lower and middle class ties. You have lots of options. And if you're also young or relatively young, fit, muscular, tall and good looking, you're also into lady boys, you are even more of a status symbol. You're like the guy in the Ferrari driving up to the cafe. You attract a lot of attention. I fit the bill. When I'm seen walking around Patea hand in hand with my lady boy partners, we really do attract a lot of attention. People stare. One tourist was brazen enough to stop and take a photo. A ladyboy with a good-looking Western man attracts a lot of attention, both good and bad. Mainstream society doesn't understand why a good-looking and young Western man with options would get around with a ladyboy. Some of the looks from the Western women are priceless. Let's get back to acceptance. The acceptance that all ladyboys are looking for really hit home to me when I attended the Coliseum Ladyboy Cabaret Show with one of my ladyboy partners. My favourite, 22 years old, stunningly beautiful, with a very good heart and a calming per personality. During the performance, one of the ladyboy performers did a solo act where the spotlight was only on her for her entire act. She made her way into the crowd, stopped right in front of my ladyboy partner and myself, gave a very respectful look of acknowledgement, and then gave me a big smile and a traditional Thai Y. The spotlight was on us for all to see. It was a wonderful moment and it really made a big impact on me. It was one of the highlights of my trip to Thailand. As a Westerner in Thailand, you have a lot of options. Most Western men don't go with ladyboys. Out of the Western men that do go with them, very few have all the attributes to be a status symbol. Just so you know I'm not being arrogant, this trip was different to the last four because I went with a friend who got in contact with me via this YouTube channel. He lives very close to me, so we met up a number of times and developed a friendship. He wanted his own ladyboy adventure, so we met up in Thailand together. My friend fits the status symbol just as much, if not more so, than myself. It was interesting watching the way the ladyboys acted towards him. He too was very popular. He too is open-minded and accepting of ladyboys and treats them with respect and kindness. He's a decent and caring man. If you think of the situation in terms of economics, you have a large amount of Western men who travel to Thailand that are considered losers back home by society. In other words, Western women consider these men to be losers because they do not live up to Western women's ridiculous expectations. You know the type, and they are very common in Thailand. These are the types of men that the Thai ladyboys are accustomed to dealing with, so when they come across a higher class of man, a man from the professional classes, who treats them with dignity, respect, kindness, and acceptance as a human being, they tend to react very positively to this. They're not used to being treated as human beings, and I've been able to touch the heart of a number of ladyboys. One in particular who has made a big impact on my heart as well. Yes, they are prostitutes. Yes, they make their money by telling men what they want to hear 
and performing well sexually. But understand, these are a class of people that does not have the acceptance they're looking for from society at large. Doubly so, they are prostitutes and they are transgendered. They are used to being treated poorly and have come from very poor backgrounds. Why not treat them as human beings, with dignity and with respect, so long as you never lose your posture and forget the nature of the relationship? Let's talk about another group of people who are used to being treated poorly, Western men. Western men are under constant attack back home in the West. You as a man have little to no value other than that as a utility. You are what you do. Well, to me, this is unacceptable. And I had a hunch, a feeling before I started making these trips, that I would find the acceptance that I was looking for as a man in the heart of a ladyboy. I was right. Western men and Thai ladyboys share something very important in common. As different as we are from each other, we share the knowledge in both our minds and our hearts that the majority of people don't give a shit about us, apart from what we can do for them. Both of us know intuitively that unless we keep performing, we are nothing. That gives us a bond and an understanding, a mutual respect for each other. We know each other and what we like sexually. You often hear a lady boy say, I not like Thai men. What they really mean is, Thai men don't like them. Western men and Thai lady boys are a good match in many ways. Overall, I was sick of the treatment back home from Western women, sick of the dating, sick of all the dramas, the sizing me up as a utility, as a worker, how much I was worth, what I owned, where I lived, and so on. Just over it. Didn't want to put myself in this situation again. Ever seen the movie Zoolander? You're a monkey, Derek! You're a monkey! Dance, monkey! In your little spangly suit! Smash your symbol, Simpy! Dance, Derek! Dance! I feel good engaging with my lady boys. One of them in particular values me as a man. I feel respected. I give and receive acceptance. I'm truly appreciative and I feel privileged to be able to spend time with this lady boy in particular. I, of course, need to be very careful as I've got a number of lady boy partners and sometimes jealousy and resentment can raise their ugly heads. Despite my making it known from the very beginning that I will not commit and that I want my freedom, there have been issues that have come up from one lady boy in particular who I now need to distance myself from. You have to be very careful when dealing with these people and never forget who you are and what you represent to them. Status, security, money, respect, acceptance, and so on. Anyway, that's uh, pretty much what I wanted to talk about today. If you too are considering your own ladyboy adventure, just remember that treating these people with respect, dignity, kindness and understanding goes a long way towards you being able to touch their hearts. I've met some wonderfully kind lady boys and some not so kind ones. I've discovered that it's possible to love more than one lady boy at a time and love them for different reasons. I guess this is how a woman must feel when sizing up potential suitors. I like Jack because of X, but John because of Y. Tom makes me feel special, but Zach has money and resources. How to choose. Till next time, gentlemen, all the best on The Pretender.